Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Tavor TS-12 from IWI. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. This is where in the first 30 seconds I give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the full review. You guys can either stop watching because now you know everything about it, or you guys can continue to watch and get more information and find out why I say those things about it. So with this gun, the Tavor TS-12, this thing is such a cool gun. It's so much fun, it's crazy looking. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice is these rotating tubes. Uh, you can hold up to four three inch or shells and uh, five two and three quarter shells. So that's pretty significant when you think that you can hold 16 with one in the chamber in this gun. Uh, that's a lot of capacity. So that alone really gives this a huge one up. Uh, and then you have a lot of accessories here that you can add to it because you have the M-lock rails on the side. You have your full top rail on top and then uh, everything is ambidextrous so you can switch things over. You have sling points on this and uh, this thing is truly just a really fun gun. Haven't had any malfunctions with it over the testing that I've done. I've done some competition shooting with it along with just some range time type stuff as well. Uh, so I definitely see this could be a law enforcement type gun, this could be a competition gun, and along with uh, just a civilian that wants to have something unique and really fun to shoot. So having an absolute blast with this gun, it is super fun to shoot, really comfortable, uh, very well balanced, and actually pretty lightweight for what it is. Let's get into my relationship with IWI. So they did send this to me, so I did not pay for it. Uh, I think IWI has really been killing it lately. Uh, the X95 is such an awesome platform. Absolutely love that gun. I got a bunch of new parts on there, if you guys have noticed. Um, and this one is just the same. Such a cool gun. They make really good quality things. They definitely test their stuff before just sending them out. Uh, I know this has been in production since, I believe, 2018, if not before. Um, it might have been before that, 2017. Um, but this has been in production for a while. They did not just throw this out and say, hey, here you go. You know, they put a lot of thought into it. They put a lot of testing and time into it and uh, it definitely shows in this gun. So I appreciate IWI for sending this to me to test and uh, we'll get right into the review. Like I stated in the breakdown, uh, the biggest thing with this is your rotating tube. Uh, you, all you do is press this button, which I'll give you guys a close up. You press that and then you can rotate it to the next tube and keep firing. Now what's cool about that is once you're out of ammo, you get locked back, you rotate, you don't have to do anything, it will automatically chamber that next round in. You don't have to charge your gun to get it to put another round in. So that is really cool that once you're done with your six rounds, rotate, and then you keep going. Um, so that's where um, the fact that you can put a lot of rounds down range very quickly. Uh, so for like a law enforcement military application, I can see this being huge just for that aspect. You've got completely ambidextrous controls. Everything can be switched over. You have four sling points here, here, and on the flip side. Uh, so you can put a sling on this. I do run a sling on every once in a while. You got that full top rail, which is nice because I throw my optic on this. I put that on immediately. And then you can put like a flashlight or anything on there. I did put the cloud defensive owl on there, which you'll see in some of the videos. Uh, it's a little bit goofy just because of how tall the gun is. It's kind of hard to get up to that light depending the setup if it's a pressure pad or whatnot But you might want to take advantage of the m -lock rails on the sides here and throw something on there This is an 18 and a half inch barrel in here And what's really neat about that is this is only a 28 inch long gun uh, So it's a lot of barrel in this and that's what's really nice about this bullpup platform is you're able to fit a lot longer barrel and a lot smaller package so uh, home defense absolutely would have an application with this because of being able to move around a lot easier um, than what your normal shotguns are having that smaller barrel. You'll have a longer barrel and a smaller gun. So that's always a benefit with this. When I went to first pick this up at the gun shop, uh, when it was sitting there on the table, I looked at it and I was thinking, I'm like, man, this thing is gonna be crazy heavy and uh, really awkward to hold. Uh, but once I picked it up, I did find that it actually is pretty light because they do use a lot of polymer aluminum in this. So it does take away a lot of that weight. It is only eight pounds. So I was really surprised by that. And when I started shooting, I found that it to be really comfortable to shoot. Uh, now the only downfall with it is it's kind of high. So that's kind of goofy, a little bit awkward, something we're not really used to with firearms. So that's a little bit getting used to I guess but uh, other than that it's actually a fairly comfortable gun to shoot the recoil on this is mitigated really well with how they have the system set up and uh, does not recoil as bad as you think it would be so I think they've done a lot of work on this a lot of testing they put a lot of thought in this platform and it's really nice to see now one of the things that I always try to look at is where's the application for this and when I first looked at this I was like man there's really not gonna be a huge application for this type of gun it's gonna be really just a an item that people want to buy just because it's cool and unique uh, but after using it um, and different training and drills and things, uh, I found that this does have a decent amount of applications. Uh, one, we did a competition shooting in this. One of my buddies went competition shooting and took this with him. He absolutely blew everybody's mind there because most of them had never seen it before, at least in person. And uh, 
they were pretty pretty surprised by it and a lot of people were playing with it and looking at it he did it in competition he said he did fairly well with it he said the only downfall is it's pretty hard to reload you can't really do your quad reload super well just because of how this is designed it's not like your normal quad reload where you can just set it up everything's milled out this one is really not designed for that so that's gonna be your downfall but where he benefited in that he said is he had 16 rounds compared to what a lot of the other guys didn't have that so um what he lost in quick reloading he gained in capacity uh so it can be used in competition if you want to uh law enforcement Enforcement military is probably going to be the main thing I'm seeing this uh, as being you know, the fact that you can shoot so many rounds, have the capacity, the ambidextrous, everything about this gun, the size, the capacity, being able to go through houses and smaller places. I think that's a huge benefit. So I can see law enforcement really using a setup like this and being able to accessorize depending what they use it for, what their application lights and lasers and everything else they want to put on them. Um, and the fact that you can throw an optic on it very easily. Uh, so definitely a law enforcement application. And for civilians, the main thing I'm going to be looking at, um, I mean, it's going to be really your people that just want something unique, something different, something to show off to their friends. Um, and this is definitely uh, unique and different. I heard some stories about some people having some issues with different types of ammo in this. I personally have had dead zero issues, no malfunctions, no problems. This gun has ran flawlessly for me. I will keep you guys updated further on my Instagram on how this runs. I'll be running some different ammo through it, seeing if I can get it to have any failures, but so far so good. Everything's ran perfectly. Uh, you do have a adjustable gas system here. So if you do have some issues or you're shooting some different types of loads, you can go ahead and rotate that around depending what your application. Now this does have a threaded barrel on here and you can put your Benelli and Beretta chokes on this, if I can get it off. So you have that threaded capabilities. Also, you can put a suppressor on here if you wanted to. So that's nice to be able to customize this completely how you want to. Um, so you do have threaded barrel. Now, the way I've been holding this has been right from the bottom. And the reason I do that is because I find that it's really easy for me to rotate the tubes and not have any issues doing it that way. I do see a lot of people grabbing this notch right here because they find that to be a little bit easier. Uh, I find that that's better for recoil mitigation and you're able to get a better grip on the gun. But the only thing I don't like is when I go to rotate the barrel and I go back to this, I just feel so close to that muzzle and uh, it honestly makes me a little bit nervous. So I usually stay right down here. I think maybe just subconsciously I go down here and it's hard for me to reach out that far knowing that the muzzle's right there uh, so subconsciously i do find myself pulling here one it's faster to be able to rotate that tube um, but for me it does seem a little bit safer but you do have the option to go up there as well and grab because it is a notch that i think that was i i don't know if it was designed this way but it feels like it was designed to be gripped there because it does sit really comfortably right there for the downfalls on this, um, the big one I already mentioned is the height. It's just kind of awkward, a little bit goofy, something you're not really used to. So it's just going to be something that you're going to have to get used to a little bit. And next is going to be your price. So MSRP, these are at $1,400. That's going to give a lot of people the shock value, especially when you're thinking about shotguns. Usually they're about sub $1,000. Um, but with this kind of shotgun, it's a little bit different. There's a lot of things with it. And it's definitely a unique platform and has a lot of benefits. Um, I've actually looked on Brownells and it's over $1,400 there. So I don't know if maybe their value is just holding really well on these so the price is going up that price is going to be a shock value for a lot of people so would i recommend this and spend my own money on this um i would recommend this absolutely because i think this is a really good gun i think it works really well there's a lot of thought process put into it it's a super fun gun to shoot now the only time i wouldn't recommend this is if you're like a recreational shooter you go out every once in a while and you're like ah yeah i'll go clay pigeon shooting in like twice a year uh probably not just buy a remington 870 you're good to go you really don't need something like this uh, but if you're looking for a law enforcement military guy um home defense Things like that, I would say this gun is definitely a really good option. Um, the price is a little bit up there, but I do think this would fit those needs really well. Home defense, uh, definitely short barrel, a lot of capacity, and uh, it makes a really loud boom. So a uh, really cool home defense gun for sure. And um, yes, I would spend my own money on it if I wanted it for the application. I'm not really a big shotgun guy. I think you guys noticed that from my page. I'm really more into the rifles and everything else. So it wouldn't be top on my list by any means, but if I was looking for a really good shotgun and this fit all the needs that I was looking for, I definitely would spend my own money on this gun. So if you guys are looking for this and you guys would like to get something like this or even like an X95 or a Masada, different things that IWI makes, definitely go check them out. Uh, go to their website. You guys can see a lot of their guns. Um, so far, I've tested a decent amount of their guns and I love them all. They've all been really great and um, I look forward to everything else they come out with. Uh, if you guys want to help support me and the channel, there's two ways to do that down in the description. There is a link, uh, one to my Patreon. From there, you guys can go 
and you can help support me a ton. That does a lot. Uh, there's a couple different tiers. You gain things for each tier, like early access to bills and things like that. Uh, so if you guys wanted to help support me with that, that would help a lot. I have a top tier guy on there, Jimmy, and I appreciate him a ton for doing that. That helps me a ton. Also, there's another way. There's a link down there. It goes straight to my website from there. You guys can go to other links like Brownells, Aero Precision, Palmetto Star Armory. Any of those websites, if you purchase from there, it will give me a small kickback and it shows the companies that I am generating flow, which helps out a ton. So if you guys want to do that, that really means a lot to me. If not, not a big deal. I just appreciate you guys being here. Like and comment, share and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.